Congress, therefore, and the affiliate unions who, who support this are, in fact, very happy uh, to be part of that. More particularly, uh, rather than just support, to celebrate the work of the poets in this publication, all 67 of them. It's not good enough. We've got to uh, reclaim, reclaim our, our, our <coughs> right to, to culture, to write, and to publish, and to perform, and to play, etc. <laughs> <laughs> First again, my congratulations to everybody who wrote and everybody like Jenny who made made this uh, made this collection possible. Because I think the name Culture Matters, I think it's a wonderful name, mm -hmm. and it is in conflict with really the mindset of our society, which I'll come to in a minute. How did they get on track when the tracks were never laid in this stony, mournful ground? Fallacies echo. Live register lowest it's been since 2008. But in these hills, the white noise rebounds. The absence of fledgling song deafening us. A person is hidden except for the crown of the head, a few strands of red hair. A woman or a man sleeping in this colleen, what the papers call sleeping rough. The welfare man's a schlieveen of a witch sniffer. I must smell right if I've any chance of getting through the Inquisition for a school clothing, footwear, and book allowance. You're not going up to that place. <laughs> smelling of petunia oils and looking like Janice Chaplin out of the gig at Woodstock. My mother smears lemon rind and juice on one of my wrists and sprinkles drops of vanilla essence all over me second best dress and jacket. The witch sniffer has a gra for girls who do little but bake and skibby. We stranded the low stone wall. Talk of wimpy and a cowpine, of roads and bridges, of digs and pubs. The boy was mad. Forty years ago, when I started working with homeless people, there were about a thousand homeless people in Ireland. Most of the elderly men who'd returned from England had an alcohol problem. You know, in 2011, Pina Gale came into power. In 2011, there were no such thing as homeless families. It didn't exist. Today we've over 1,700 homeless families with almost 4,000 homeless children between them. How did we get into this position? And apart from those who are homeless, if we look at those who are living in very poor quality private rented accommodation, maybe some here, but afraid to complain in case they get kicked out. If we live, we count those who are living in overcrowded homes who became homeless. But because there's a stigma attached to being homeless, unfairly, they didn't want to register as homeless, went to live with their relatives. In homes, three bedroom houses where you've got three or four generations all living together. If you look at those who are renting, significant number of renters are paying 50%, 60%, and 5% of renters are paying 75% of their income to their landlord, just to keep a roof over their head. Imagine working all month, getting your paycheck at the end of the month, and handing 75% over to a landlord. And if we include the 40,000 households who are in mortgage arrears of more than two years, some of whom are afraid to open the post, in case it's the bank telling them they're going to start a repossession 
uh, hearings. I would guesstimate that in this country there are at least three quarters of a million people whose housing situation or lack of it. The downing of the Berlin Wall and after, as one by one another Eden fell. Sold a lie of consumerism, capitalism sanitized, masked as freedom. They did not understand its workings, as I still don't the workings of the honeybee. How a profit is made, the meaning of surplus value. Their future reminding me of the innocence of lambs ignorant of their fate. Too late to turn back time now even if they could. The monster is unleashed. And the question comes to mind, what serpent was it caused the second fall? Heart of the city, a swollen imperial heart, whose arteries still pulse a royal blue, and watch its newcomer families gather in safety knots within the folds of the famine queen's marbled frock and wonder, would she be as flahul with her fibres for those food banks they depend upon? Live in the heart of the city, its brick bled and rain wept heart, whose municipal vision cuts through its public benches. No space here for homeless bums. Here neutral grey tones of an Irish town, but everywhere patches of red. The soldier's jacket, the crimson shawls, beneath one rust red roof, an unidentifiable blaze glimpsed through a narrow window. Three scarlet ribbons trickle down from a child's paper helmet. Culture is irrelevant unless it is creating wealth. Unless it's selling books, filling theatres or music halls. It can often be seen as, a, as irrelevant or even a hindrance to economic development. A backward influence sometimes, which is to be overcome if true progress is to be achieved. But if authentic development is to play, take place, then the role of culture is very important. It is from culture that vision, energy, and commitment come. Culture is the bedrock on which solid development can take place. Authentic development has to respect the culture, build on the culture, and certainly not destroy the culture. Ma is <laughs> the